this is an important diagnostic test that I learned uh, probably about 10 years ago when I was rehabbing from an early shoulder injury, when I actually one of the ones I alluded to in the intro. Um, the purpose of this exercise is really to get a sense of how flexible your scapula are. So you start by sitting your butt as close as you can get it to the wall and you put your hands at about 90 degrees. Now the goal here is to do what Jesse's going to walk me through in a second, but keeping the entire volar surface of the arm, meaning the back surface of the hand, forearm, and upper arm always on the wall. And what I'm going to try to do is get my arms as high as possible, but without separating from the wall. So Jesse's going to walk me through this and you'll get a sense of what we're trying to do. So the less provocative or less challenging position will actually be a wider wall angel or a wider wall reach because it's mostly the pec that's stretching and you're not involving the, the lat and serratus as much, right? All these muscles under the armpit. So I'm going to have Peter just push out into a nice wide Y. Now, Peter has incredible, great shoulder mobility. You may find that to keep that surface down, you might have to be here and that's fine. The key is to not struggle to go through the range you can go through and breathe through this. It's not a forced exercise. The wall is being accepted by your arms versus you pushing them into it with all your might. The more you struggle, the harder it is. So as you go, you'll be able to reach all the way up because you'll have enough length in that serratus and lat to fully touch the wall with arms straight. But again, this is a very advanced position. I would recommend reaching down a little bit of a Y, reaching down again, and seeing if you can start your work your arms closer and closer. Great diagnostic to see if the whole shoulder girdle is working properly.